Hey everybody, this is Ryan with the Farm to Table Direct Show. That's the Farm the Number Two Table Direct Show. And uh, following up on the uh, video that uh, Andy and uh, Keith uh, just shot the other day, talking about space gardening, talking about uh, the wicking pots and uh, vertical gardening as far as the potato towers and that type of thing. Uh, and keeping on with that theme, I want to catch y'all up to date with some stuff that we're doing. Uh, myself and my wife are taking initiative to do what we talk about doing on the show and that is beginning to grow uh, our own plants and our own uh, vegetables uh, mainly that's what we're going for uh, a little bit of fruit with a watermelon but uh, anyway uh, also in keeping in theme with working in a limited space uh, I live in a subdivision in town at the moment and so I got a limited backyard and I didn't really want to tear it all up with uh, uh, tilling and everything so what we did is went to a uh, uh, container garden um, it's a uh, they're just pots and tubs that we have um, things we're working on here and uh, I'm gonna give you a little tour of what we did so that you can see it uh, I'm gonna practice what we preach here on the farm to table direct show and so here we go all right, all right as you can see I flipped the screen here um, what you're looking at now is my tomato plants I've got them in some rectangular uh, pots some rectangular containers uh, there's three plants in each uh, those big tall sticks uh, that you uh, see sticking out of there are just our first uh, kind of attempts if you will or whatever at putting stakes down uh, you have to use tomato stakes so that they'll grow up proper on the vine and uh, they won't fall down and mess the tomatoes up on the grass there's an actual reason behind it a uh, little water bulb there to kind of see what's going on with the soil uh, we'll pan on over here this right here is a straight neck squash plant uh, there in that pot with some soil that's uh, beginning to stand up tall and growing quite a bit. We started out with just some starters um, and then I'm going to move over here. That's an empty tub that's going to have a, a future uh, plant, hopefully a, a yellow squash or something else that we're working on, maybe even some potatoes. We may do a potato tower right there in that. Uh, it's the right size, I believe. Uh, moving over here, this plant right here that's all leaf covered and uh, you can kind of begin to see some of the let's see if we can go down here uh, kind of begin to see some of the uh, the buds there that are starting to happen you see right there that's okra uh, that we're going to grow and this beauty right here uh, that we've got is starting to creep out on the ground is a watermelon plant uh, as you can see i've got a runner uh, starting to head out on the ground that's why i wanted it on the ground so they could run uh, pretty safe distance uh, from uh, squat from my zucchini because it's and my tomatoes because they're vine plants don't want them getting into each other and don't want anything cross-pollinating as well um, so as you can see and i'm going to put you on i'm going to walk with me for just a second uh, come over here we haven't moved this one out in fact i'll probably go ahead and move it out right now uh, y'all get to be with me while i'm actually taking something out to the main garden uh, this right here is a, uh, a cucumber. Uh, is a cucumber plant uh, that we've got going. I just put that into that pot this morning. Uh, so it was in the starter thing and I started seeing the roots on the side of the clear plastic. So I'm going to grow up some cucumber and maybe even turn those into some pickles. And so as you can see, I'm going to back up here, uh, kind of get away from it just a little bit. Now you see my swing and stuff in the background, the storage building. That's just a little bit of space right there. Uh, very little space, but that's going to yield some uh, zucchini and some uh, tomatoes and some uh, cucumbers. And we got, like I said, the okra and watermelon. And hopefully going in there will be some potatoes. And I plan to add a yellow squash. Um, so as you can see, uh, just a small amount of space and just a small amount of plants. Uh, hang on just a second and I'm going to turn back around. Okay. Now here I am back. Uh, as you can see, that was uh, just a little sample of what we're doing here. Uh, trying out our own uh, own little micro garden, if you will. It's uh, very little amount of money invested there. Uh, using a couple of galvanized things that I already had laying around. And then some pots we picked up at a local store as well as the starter plants. Um, the wife's been getting the potatoes ready. We're going to have a fall potato crop. Normally you'd plant potatoes in like February and harvest them around June. Well, we're gonna plant ours in June 
and harvest them into the fall. Um, so we'll have some fall potatoes, Lord willing, and uh, hopefully we'll have some of this other stuff begin to produce. And uh, with the pending food shortage coming in in the fall, that's what they're saying, uh, these should come in just about the right time. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you see that it doesn't take a lot of space. It doesn't take a lot of uh, effort. We water these in the morning. Uh, we'll check them in the afternoon. Uh, we'll have to begin to prune uh, things as they grow and develop, but a uh, very limited amount of time that we actually have to invest on a on a daily basis or a weekly basis to uh, thing, and uh, maybe eventually add a sprinkler where all we got to do is just have it on a timer. We'll talk more about that coming up in our next episode as soon as we're able to get that recorded. In the meanwhile, uh, prepare for the unexpected and keep it local.